On Sunday, September 10th, 2023, Ground Zero 360 hosted a special exhibition opening at St. Bonaventure University's Regina A. Quick Art Centre to commemorate the 22nd anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. This event featured over 70 renowned artists from around the world, each creating special artworks that depicted their personal memories of 9-11. Among these artists were notable figures, such as Sean Scully, Huey O'Donoghue, Nicola McLean, Eamon Coleman, James Searles, Michael Collins and Jim Fitzpatrick, all of whom showcased their work at this significant occasion. On Saturday, September 9th, first responders, 9-11 families and dignitaries gathered at the 9-11 Memorial at St. Bonaventure University for a prayer service, uniting to remember the victims and their families. During the event, Father Michael Duffy delivered a moving speech, sharing his memories of the legendary FDNY chaplain, Father Michael Judge. Father Michael Judge's legacy will be his pastoral approach to people. Everybody felt connected to him. He was everybody's best friend. When anything happened to anybody he knew, they'd get on the phone and tell him. Baptism, death, someone in the hospital, anything significant in their lives, they wanted him to be part of it. SBU president, Dr. Jeff Gingrich, was presented with an honor. And in his address, he emphasized the importance of educating his students about 9-11. Many of our students right now, they're 18 to 22 year olds, they were born after 9-11. They were born after September 11, 2001. And they've heard these stories, they, they kind of know a little bit about it, but they didn't live through that. And so our, one of our goals is to have as many students as possible to see this exhibit, then not only see the exhibit, but engage in conversation about it and really understand kind of the importance of this moment in U.S. history and the tragedy of it all. Olean Mayor Bill Aiello attended the event. I lived it and uh, I was on the Olean Police Department uh, you know, when it happened, I was working that day here and, you know, we were glued to the TV and it was, it was, uh, you know, it was so much uncertainty then. And now since uh, here we are 22 uh, years later and we're still, uh, you know, remembering and honoring and never forgetting what took place on that day. We found out just how strong we are as Americans and, you know, we will never forget. We will always overcome. Retired NYPD officer Jimmy Smith and his daughter Patricia spoke to SBU students, with Jimmy reflecting on the memory of his late wife, the heroic police officer Moira Smith. She was going to put herself between danger and the innocent, and that's what she did on that day. And she could have left, she came out of the building carrying people multiple times, but uh, she kept going back in as long as there was one person left. She was going to be in there. Maggie McDonnell, also present at the commemoration. If they can't connect with it, they're not going to remember the exhibit. They're not going to remember 9-11, and they won't remember Brian and all the others that died that day. So the more personal it is, the more they are able to attach themselves to the exhibit or a particular painting or a photograph or Brian's things, for instance, in a case and all of those um, posters that are on the wall, those are things that I don't think they can forget when they see that. It's, they'll remember that forever, I should hope. It's not a good thing to remember something bad, but by doing so, I think they might prevent it from ever happening again. Evelyn Penman, the executive director at the Quick Art Center, played a pivotal role in collaborating closely with Grand Zero 360 to bring the exhibition to SBU. Not only is it an exhibition that has been seen around the world uh, by many people, but uh, the connections to St. Bonaventure and to the Franciscan uh, life is, here at St. Bonaventure, it just brings it all together. We have found so many connections between our alums, um, our friars, and our faculty uh, that we thought that this exhibition was really something we needed to bring to the community. 
The exhibition will be on display at the Quick Art Centre until December 2023. For more information about Grand Zero 360, please visit grandzero360.org or connect with them on Facebook at Grand Zero 360.